Hey bestie, you are not gonna believe what I do with Dollar Tree paintbrushes and a couple of my older paintbrushes that I was getting ready to throw away. Stay tuned for some awesome hacks. I've got these paintbrushes from Dollar Tree. They come three in a pack and they're three different sizes. Now I'm gonna use four of the middle of the three you can see there, and then I'm gonna use eight of the smaller ones for this. I've got this cute little hello fall sign from Dollar Tree and then I've got an eight inch wreath ring. It actually comes two in a pack, so that's a great deal. And then I'm gonna use a couple of zip ties. I've also got the moss, pumpkin, and plaster chalk paint by Waverly. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of celery. So I'm gonna start off with the pumpkin and I'm gonna paint from the metal part down through the bristles on four, the larger four of the brushes. And I'm just gonna keep painting until it looks nice. I took a couple of coats. And then I'm gonna take the celery and plaster and I'm gonna alternate between the brush and metal part and the handle on the other one. So here I've got just the top part. Then I'm gonna use the moss as the handles on the orange ones. The orange ones are gonna be pumpkins. And then I'll alternate, you know, again with the plaster and celery on the opposite ones that I did. There you can see them all. I've got this beautiful orange burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna use a zip tie to get it attached and start it. And I'm just gonna wrap it around and around until it covers the whole thing and then I'll take another zip tie and attach it there too. Once I have that attached, I'm gonna take a piece of rope, I'm gonna stick it into the wreath form, one of the wires, and I'm just gonna knot it at the top and make a little hanger. This is gonna be the cutest little paintbrush wreath. Tied some hula skirt around each of the orange ones. These are little pumpkins, so it just looks like it's got a little stem. And then I'm gonna hot glue each brush directly onto the burlap on the wreath. So as you can see, I did like at 12, three, six, and nine o'clock the pumpkin brushes, and then I alternated in between. Now I'm gonna take some rope and I'm just gonna thread it through the holes on the ends of the paintbrushes just to help hold that in place. I learned this little trick from my friend Nadia at DIY with Nadia, I'll link her channel below, where you take some pipe cleaners, you fold them kind of flat on the bottom, and then you attach them to the back of a sign or something that you wanna put in the middle of a wreath. And I'm gonna put four of these on there, and then I put a little piece of the burlap over it to secure it. And then you push the little pipe cleaners right through the wreath part, and then you attach it from the back, and you just twist it around, you know, three, four, five times, and then tuck it in, and then you have a nice secure hold. I'm gonna take this cute little paper sunflower that I got at Hobby Lobby and hot glue it to that little pumpkin. And then I'm gonna use these little teeny sunflowers and put them on all of the other paintbrushes that aren't pumpkins. And I think this turned out adorable. Of course, I'll cover the back with some craft paper like I usually do. And I hope you guys like this one. I think it's so unique and original. And what a paintbrush hack is this? Now you can just look at paintbrushes in a whole different way. Dollar Tree paintbrush hack, I'm going to use the larger of the three brushes that come in the set. And I'm gonna make something that's almost kind of Halloween. I don't normally do Halloween, but this will be cute. So I've got these googly eyes and a couple of bolts. I end up swapping those out for shorter, wider ones that I think are gonna look better. And then I've got this bright green and the chalkboard black paint, and I'm gonna use that as well. First thing is I'm gonna paint from the metal all the way down the handle with that green. And it does take about two and a half coats on the metal and then maybe just two coats on the black part. Super easy though, let that dry. And then I'm gonna take the black paint and I'm gonna paint the bristles because they have black in them, but then there's kind of that yellow at the top. And I'm gonna take that chalkboard paint and I'm just gonna start brushing and I just kind of push it in between the bristles and around the top. It's very easy, it doesn't take tons of paint to do this. I took a very light marker and I kind of drew for myself some lines to make the stitches and his little forehead line and then his mouth. This is a little Frankenstein if you haven't figured it out. And now I'm gonna take a very fine point art brush and that black paint and I'm just gonna go over the lines that I drew. I didn't do pencil because I didn't think I'd be able to see it very well. So I just took, like I said, a very fine point and light marker just to draw them. And now I'm gonna paint over them all. It makes it so much easier if you have something to work with. I find that if I paint first without using anything, I just mess it up really bad. So if you're like me, take the time and draw it out first. 
Now I've got the googly eyes and I'm just going to hot glue them right on where you would see the eyes normally. I think this would be such a fun thing to do with grandkids or kids and you can make little pumpkin ones, all kinds of cute things. And you could even do a candy corn one. When you stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. And then I'm going to take these bolts, like I said, I swapped those out and I'm just going to hot glue them to the sides because you know Frankenstein has those bolts on the side of his head. When you tore down my wall. I saw this on Pinterest and I just had to make it. It is so adorable. And this is incredibly quick and easy. Honestly, the thing that took the longest was waiting for the paint to dry. Otherwise, this would basically be a five minute craft. So if you have a heat tool to dry it faster, then it could be a very fast craft. And I think it turned out adorable and so cutesy and not spooky scary. paintbrush hack. I've got this really cool paintbrush, but I just never use it. I've only used it a few times. It was from Amazon and it's a unique shape. And then I've got these cute little pots from Dollar Tree, some skewer sticks, a couple of little flower picks, some little stickers that have pumpkins, and then a beautiful fall napkin from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut those little skewer sticks into fence pieces. I'm going to use this Baja's Buff Amy Howard at Home paint. And I'm just going to paint the front and sides of these little pieces. And they're going to be like a garden picket fence. I'm also going to paint that top part of the paintbrush. I'm going to measure out a piece of the napkin that will fit across that top part. I'm going to be decoupaging this on. Now it's a two ply napkin. You've got to remove the plies. The easiest way is take a little piece of tape, put it on the back and then just pull and it comes right apart. I'm going to take some Mod Podge and cover that whole front side with of the white. Then I'm going to lay down my piece of napkin and I'm going to rub that on nice and secure. Once it's on, I'm going to put some more Mod Podge over the top and then I'm going to put some more on the edges to make it very wet and then it just separates so easily with your finger as you push it across. Just go very slow. And then I'll add some more Mod Podge to the edges to make sure any little extra pieces are laying down. Now I'm gonna start gluing on the picket fence pieces. I'll start in the middle and work my way out. And once I have all of those on there, I'm gonna take the longer pieces and make a crossbar along the bottom and along the top. And that's just what makes it look like a cute little picket fence. And I'm just using hot glue for all of this. You could use wood glue if you want, but it's such a light piece. I figured the hot glue would be just fine. Now I've got that little pot. I did cut it in half with my miter shears. It worked very well. And I would put a bunch of hot glue in there and take that little teeny pick of the flowers and I'm just gonna push it in there. I'll use my little spatula to hold it in while it's drying and so I don't burn myself. And once I've got it all in there, I'm gonna set it right on top of the fence. I'm gonna take a couple of the little pumpkin stickers and place them on the right side over the top of the fence. And I just think that looks so adorable. I'll tuck this other little pumpkin underneath the other set. And that way it kind of gives it that 3D effect. Now I have some more of those little flower picks. I'm just gonna insert them in a couple random places just to, you know, make it look more natural. I'm gonna take some antique wax and I'm just gonna very lightly dry brush on the pot and on the fence just to give it a little bit more kind of wear, like it's not brand new. And I'm just putting a little on my brush, wiping most of it off and then just dragging it across the top. Got a little piece of this gorgeous Dollar Tree ribbon. I'm just gonna put it right through the hole, put a knot, I dovetailed the ends and that's it. So you could hang this, you could set it up on a shelf, but this is just the cutest little garden fence fall themed paintbrush hack. I hope you like it. this paintbrush hack. I've got this cute little stippling brush that's very used and very hard and it's just time for it to be done. I've got some bright yellow and black chalkboard paint, some little teeny sunflowers that I got at Hobby Lobby, and a bead. I've also got this really pretty buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to start painting the handle yellow. Now I started doing stripes and then I decided I might as well just paint the whole thing. Took about you know, three or four coats to get this covered. Just gotta be patient, dry it between each coat. But honestly, it's so worth doing this. Like I said, three or four coats. Then I was gonna use the chopper paint, but I decided I've got this black permanent marker and I think this would be easier. So I'm gonna just start making little black stripes on it. Kind of like a bee black and, and yellow look, if you will. And I'm gonna do that a few more times on here. There it is, isn't that cute? 
this little gnome is going to be adorable. I'm going to take my little bead and I'm going to use my miter shears from Amazon. It's in my Amazon store, which is down in my description box. If you're interested, I keep all of my favorite Amazon supplies there. Cut it in half so easily. I'm just going to hot glue the little nose right between the brush and the metal. And then I'm going to take that ribbon and I'm going to start hot gluing it. I'll start in the back and just wrap it around. It's going to go around a couple of times. The goal is to cover part of the nose and then all the way up the metal. And just here and there, I put a little dab of hot glue as I go. into my life such a magic feeling we tore down my walls and there it is isn't that adorable now i'm gonna hot glue those three little sunflowers off kind of to the right of his face kind of give it a little more interest they were just the perfect size for this little brush i wish i could go back to right before you told me i try to change it all and then I've got this little B cut out and I'm just going to take a black marker and I'm going to color the whole thing and I'm going to place it on the little handle so that underneath the little B body where it would normally be yellow in between, it will be yellow because it'll be sitting right on top of the yellow part. So super easy. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the back of it and then just set it right on there so that piece lays over the yellow. Look at us now, could have gone so far, it hurts to realize very easy and I think I got this little bee cut out from I don't know I ordered a bunch of these little cutouts on Facebook marketplace so I, I think that's where I got it anyway that is it I think that this little gnome came out adorable you could put a hanger at the top or you could just set it up on a little shelf or a tear tray he is adorable Thank you for watching. You are truly a blessing to me. Let me know which one was your favorite today. I've got another video on the screen that I think you'll really like. So if you click on it, I will see you there. Bye.